Oh, hi, YouTube. Yeah, chat. Say hi to YouTube. As much as I've loved... Per oh. <laughs> Bunks Chan, thank you for the follow. Say hi, YouTube chat. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. We're watching a video. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. We're gonna watch why men love playing as girls. Honestly. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought they just like look pretty. Charlotte's chat kitty. <laughs> hi YouTube! Yay! Hi YouTube! Hi! 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 Because of Gat? Because of Gat? That that would make sense. Because of the ass. Okay. We in the video now, boys. Yeah, you're in the video now. Hi YouTube! Hi YouTube! Hi Goblin Future. <laughs> Hi, kids from the future! <laughs> Hello, YouTube gang! Yeah, YouTube gang, hi! Hello, you look cute, thank you! Alright, shall we find out? Why do men love playing as girls? As much as I've loved pretending to be an anime girl for the past two years, I oh, think yeah, it's I like finally that too. time that I did a face reveal. <gasps> Three, two, one. Hey guys, it's me, Noctopus. It was always a matter of time before oh. I got rid of that stupid VTuber avatar. Wait, actually? I've always hated VTubers anyway. Damn, Octopus is pretty good looking. Wait, actually? Well, that- I- I was not expecting a face reveal! <laughs> Let's Pinoy? Okay. <laughs> not, not, okay, got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I didn't know what Pinoy looks like, but I know Pinoy. I know Pinoy. Editor needs a race. Yeah. <laughs> Damn! Maybe I should contact Pinoy at one point. <laughs> Alright, fine. This isn't actually me. This is Pinoy, my editor. But do you see how it made you feel? Betrayed? Shocked, even? I felt that exact same way when I confessed my undying love for a cat girl in Final Fantasy XIV, only for it to be... I'm a cat girl in Final Fantasy XIV. ...be a 43-year-old dude living in Nebraska. But the question is... Why do men play as female characters? As an avid girl chooser myself, I've wondered this question for a long time. That's... I really don't understand. For some... Uh, for something... Like, for example, I've gotten the explanation that uh, in some games, it's because of the animations look better. Because girls are hot easy. I think that's the vast majority of uh, people that think that. English. Wow, that was really bad. I think that's most of the guys that play girls. There we go. All in MMO catfishing. <laughs> I never play as a girl in M MMOs. I only play as girls in MMOs. Simply because I'm a female. I don't know. Only makes sense to me. Here, yeah, bikini. <laughs> Life full of a self-insert. Mm. Free gifts from other players. <laughs> Of their age than from men, and men playing as girls also tend to tone down the harshness of their age. You know what this entire thing made me um, think of? The pilot episode of SAO, when everyone got their real uh, images revealed, and there's just two guys who were talking to each other who had the avatars be females. <laughs> and then they were just guys, <laughs> literally catfishing each other. <laughs> Men characters have cooler armors, that is true. You watching random stuff? My yes. main cover-up story was that girls have a smaller hitbox. And while that 100% is totally not cope and very true, it's Wait. not the main reason. <laughs> to get to the bottom of this, I what? created a community poll to ask you, my subscribers who were specifically guys, one simple question. Do you prefer to play as male or female? Over 2,000 of you answered. The results were not really that surprising. Wait, I want to make this a poll too. Wait, do we have a mod in chat who can make a poll? Uh, can one of the mods make a poll? What do you prefer to play as female or male? ...in considering my type of audience, but over 70% of you said that you pick girls. Mod but Jack, not only that, a ton of you wrote paragraph-long answers in the replies so. that I 100%...
Always definitely read. Let's start with the most obvious answer of all. Men just like seeing sexy girls when they grind out thousands of hours of gaming. I wish that was me! And don't get me wrong, this <laughs> they showed up at me! True. If Blizzard puts one of my favorite characters in a bikini, you then know it's, be it's my though. obligation as a player uh, to give them $20 for it. For the most part, it would seem like guys just fit the overall stereotype of objectifying women, but then it falls apart for certain situations like, why would a guy pick a female character in an MMO where you start out in the ugliest clothing imaginable? Or why would someone commit to an entire playthrough just to play as a non-sexualized girl character? This isn't saying that aesthetics of things like character skins aren't important to players, but that being the only reason isn't telling the full story. So that would lead us to another possible answer. Girl characters just have way more clothing options. Probably, yeah. I'm on the phone, might not work. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if it works on phone or not. It's no secret that one of the core experiences in gaming is being able to make your character look as cool as- Do you guys like playing dress up with female characters? I mean, like, that's what uh, Goddess Niki or whatever the game is like, right? But I thought that's more cater towards women. Yeah, you guys like dressing up women too? <laughs> yes? Who doesn't? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. My stupid brain was always raised like, dress up is for females, but yeah, that's, I guess, societal standard. Don't play games like that so I can't relate. Hmm? Wish guys got as much love. They should have more customization option for both genders, like in From Software games. True. I'm changed. Yeah, and based yeah. on the replies to the poll I mentioned earlier in the video, over 30% of you mentioned that you play girls because the clothing options just look better. This makes sense, considering that for a long time game companies were too scared to experiment with what kinds of skins belong to what character. Typically, male character outfits tend to be big and bulky, and female characters have historically been a bit more... Okay, that is entirely true. That's also why I play female characters, because I just don't like the male options looking big and bulky. I like being cute. I guess it's the same for guys. You guys want to be cute too? Cute check and chat? Cute check! <laughs> Revealing and aesthetically pleasing. Lara Croft versus Nathan Drake. Cammy versus Ryu. And the most sexist case of all, Pac-Man versus Mrs. Pac-Man. <laughs> if you think back to when some MMOs were first released, like Final Fantasy XIV, Blade and Soul, Black Desert Online, they all had or still have gender-locked clothing. This means that your options for outfits are split from the very moment you start playing. So unless I'm feeling one outfit that's not gender locked in uh, FF14 is 2B's outfit. M males can wear 2B's outfit. And Potato, one of my mods, who was playing in Bunny Boy at the time, wore the 2B outfit. And God damn! God damn, you look good in it! Cute twink female. No way. Cute twink male Bunny Boy. Oh! <laughs> like. I want to play my cat girl myself, but I need to have my big uh, uh, twink, uh, big twink uh, bunny boy by my side. <laughs> I need potato to raise change again, man. He's he's a freaking Drango right now. God damn it. Like playing a big burly warrior, of course I'm going to pick something more aesthetically pleasing. To give game companies some credit where it's due, it's becoming more and more common now for characters to wear whatever they want. For example, in Final Fantasy XIV, they recently made it to where you can live out your dream of being a giant manly orc in a bunch. <laughs> ah damn! Ah damn, chat! Look at that! You guys like this? This is the true male fantasy. This is. Peak. Pure peak. <laughs> but until that line keeps I getting gotta blurred, get into I'd like you to quote do. someone from my comment section. If I'm going to be staring at an ass of a character for the next 100 hours, it should at least be one I like looking at. And while I wholeheartedly agree with this statement, there's something missing. A real nail in the coffin to put this debate to rest, you know? And I think I might have found it. A single name kept popping up while I was on the other It's answers. okay, it's okay. Proteus. And what do people named Proteus and girl avatars have in common? What is Proteus? They're both usually old men. But Proteus Wait. wasn't any old man. 
was a Greek god of the seas oh. who could predict the future and transform into whatever he wanted. Okay, cool, but what does that have to do with anything? Hold on, let me explain. Let's look at a scientific phenomenon known as the Proteus Effect. This is a oh. name given to an occurrence when a person's behavior in a virtual world transforms due to the characteristics of their avatar. The behavior changes. An occurrence when a person's behavior in a virtual world transforms due to their behavior in a virtual world transforms due to the characteristics of their avatar. So if a guy is playing as a female cat girl, their in-game behavior is also gonna be more cutesy, am I? Getting this? <laughs> the behavior changes because the person has a pre-existing knowledge or expectation of how those that players sounds like that. act. This might be kind of complex, so let me give an example. A toxic League of Slittery Legends player who typically yeah, okay. plays more aggressive hyper carries gets to play a support character. This player might subconsciously start embodying more stereotypical feminine traits, like being more cooperative or empathetic with their teammates, because that's how they associate that side of the player base in their brain. This doesn't usually mean gameplay, by the way. This is more of a social thing. But th Oh, interesting. Actually interesting. Like, looking back at it, have you guys ever seen the Draven? Like, the subreddit for Draven? Have you ever seen r slash Draven mains? Oh boy. That's an adventure. That is an adventure. Oh boy. I... I don't even think it's safe to pull that one up on stream. Why are Draven mains always toxic? <laughs> like, hyper-toxic racist. <laughs> <laughs> Supports are dumb, they never support. Okay, man. This effect is real and has scientific evidence through it through hundreds of research Dragon, what? papers. Uh, uh, Draven is a League of Legends character. He's a League of Legends character. It's the one he showed. This is, this is Draven. He's an ADC and all his players are really toxic. <laughs> it's um, Tyler One's signature uh, character if that means anything to you. <laughs> this player might subconsciously start embodying more stereotypical feminine traits, like being more cooperative or empathetic with their teammates, because that's how they associate that side of the player base in their brain. This doesn't usually mean gameplay, by the way. This is more of a social thing. But this effect is real and has scientific evidence through it through hundreds of research papers. Some of the students at Nottingham Trent University found that men oh. often associate positive feelings towards women avatars, such as how attractive or aesthetically pleasing they are. Are, uh, what? what was that hip swing? Avatars, such as how it what? What is? Attractive or aesthetically pleasing. What? Nothing. That... What does it move? <laughs> that move makes no sense. They are making them more likely to choose female characters. Game companies already know this, which explains why you can always buy sexy outfits with microtransactions. I love how Pino keeps really showing up, yeah. shocking when you think about it. <laughs> I mean, what, you just expect them not to make money? Complain about it all you want, but people are still buying it. But- Yep! This editor needs a big raise for taking one for the team for being called out as a Draven. <laughs> Hold on, that's not the only reason. The Proteus effect also explains how men typically gravitate towards playing women in multiplayer games because they expect more positive social outcomes. If I play as a girl in this MMO, not only will I be more aesthetically pleasing, but players are way more willing to help me out and give me lots of gold. To back Meredith. this point up, I found another study from the University College of London who discovered that players who use women avatars with more detailed clothing not only have more social interactions, but more positive social experiences in general. Now, with more detailed clothing? Clothing? Sorry. Not only have more social we discovered that players who use women avatars with more detailed clothing yeah, not detailed only clothing. have more social interactions, but more positive social experiences in general. Now, I know this is kind of shocking because the mere thought of having a girl on your team is enough All for an right. average Valorant player to have a mental breakdown. Because the only thing women are good for is cooking, cleaning, sucking, and f But overall, it. <laughs> That is the average veteran player, though. That is actually the average veteran, average veteran player. Very accurate. Very, very accurate. 
seems like playing multiplayer <laughs> games as a more feminine avatar can lead to a less lonely gaming experience in general. But at the end of the day, these kinds of things all play a part into a bigger overall narrative. Yeah, the Proteus effect can offer some answers, but it's not this magical solution to the question. Personally, I think when a person plays a game, they want to Am immerse I being themselves wrong? as much I do as the possible. Cooking? For some yeah, people, that's, that's making not... their character look just like them in real life. And for others, it's being something completely different. Tons of people use games as a form of escapism. Oh. I mean, if you're a big manly dude working a grueling eight-hour shift getting yelled at by customers all day, why would anyone blame you for coming home and role-playing as a cute cat girl? Or maybe for you it's a deeper and more complex reason, like personally identifying with the character or using it to express something you couldn't in your daily life. There are literally hundreds of reasons to answer this question. So the truth is, as unsatisfying as this might be, it's not actually something that can be directly solved. Thanks for watching. If you like this, leave a comment and tell it's me not about nothing what that makes needs you to like be solved, certain though. characters. Because the only thing women are good for is cooking, cleaning, <laughs> sucking, and Is he wrong though? I mean what? Uh, what what I said nothing. I said nothing. I said nothing. I said nothing, chat, nothing. Nope, nope, no, nope. no, you can't hold me accountable. No, 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 no. I will not be held accountable. I am not misogynistic. No, me, never no, nope, 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 be nope. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> good video? Yeah, good video indeed. Well, good video.